Previously on Tavern Team Devlogs. We also have a Game Ideas channel where a lot of people have been throwing out some pretty good suggestions, and I might do a video in the future trying to implement some of those. Guess what? It's another scuffed devlog for Tavern Team. The game's pretty simple concept. You manage a tavern, which involves serving people drinks, making food, buying upgrades, unlocking new ingredients, etc. It's a fun mashup of management and first-person simulation set in a cozy medieval tavern theme. Previously, we got a cool cooking system implemented in the style of Breath of the Wild. So for this next video, I wanted to try to implement a few ideas that our Discord members had thrown around. So without further stalling, let's just jump into it. So the first thing I wanted to tackle was this comment made by Greenstar suggesting different cultures such as elves. Now it was easy enough to use some Sinti assets to create a few different variations of elves, and then after that I added them, I wanted to give them some unique behavior to differentiate them from humans. So I decided to have them prefer only one type of drink, because they are some picky SOBs and will only order wine. So if you don't have any on the menu, they will look at you much like the way that my father looks at me. And then they'll, they'll leave. But if however you do have some wine available, they will order some and they'll pay top dollar for it. So it may be a good idea to keep some around in the event of having some elves visit. Now I also added some dwarves, because how could you add elves to a fantasy setting and not bring their lovable, adorable little counterparts? Dwarf prefabs were also created by Sinti, and I can randomize them in the future to add a few more characteristics, such as, you know, different colors of beards, but for now, at least having a handful is great for implementing at the start. I also rewrote the customer spawning script to mainly spawn humans, but to also allow a chance for elves or dwarves to spawn. Aw, they look so adorable with their little legs unable to touch the floor. Now, dwarves are picky too. They'll only order from the best dwarven ale, and they'll also drink a whole lot of it. Now, I may change this in the future to allow them to order anything, but I have to think of some way to balance them. My current thoughts are to allow them to order an absolutely obscene amount of dwarven ale. However, if you run out, they're gonna leave and they're not gonna return. The next suggestion was from my good friend Cart, who's been asking for a little while now for me to add a traveling merchant. So I created a prefab for this guy, and I took a little inspiration from that dude uh, with the big pack in Zelda. I also created an animation for him to make it look like he was, you know, walking around with a heavy pack, and then created a unique spawning system for him, where he shows up once every seven nights. Now this creates an interesting dilemma for the player, where they have to ask themselves, hey, should I spend a lot of money to stock up on what he's selling, knowing that I'm not gonna see him for a while, or do I need that money to buy upgrades in the time now? When he enters the tavern with everyone else, he will walk to his own little special spot by the side of the bar, and wait for you to look through his inventory. I created a UI system to allow you to purchase ingredients and barrels from him, and we can expand upon this system more in the future to add other options such as, you know, decorations like tablecloths, um, any sort of banners, you know, whatever we want. Now the next thing I wanted to add was this great suggestion by Alabale where he suggests increasing the volume in the tavern as more people enter. For ambient audio, I'm going to be using this great asset called Dynamic Village Ambience. It's a super cool way to mix in customer chatter, and it does it in a very, very simple manner that will save me hours of trying to code. All I had to do was set up the new audio manager class, and I called the village ambient mixer, which is a script provided by the package, to increment the intensity and volume of the crowd noise each time a customer entered. This solution worked right out of the gate and was super easy to implement. Now I can also decrease it when someone leaves the tavern, so that's cool as well. But wait, there's more. Since we just set up different races, I tweaked the volume settings to reflect the volume levels of those different races. Elves will increment the tavern volume by a minor amount, whereas dwarves, those raucous fellows, will cause a much larger increase in the general volume level. So now we're starting to see some of the systems that we've spent this time building easily be accessed and tweaked to provide more depth for the gameplay. Hey, this is uh, TJ in the future editing the video. I actually finished the video, uploaded it to YouTube, then realized that I never put in an example of how it sounds. So here's how it actually sounds in game.
There's been a lot of background work I've been doing lately to create a proper vertical slice of the game. I've created UI screens along with all of the backend coding for them. For things such as ordering ingredients or unlocking upgrades, I created a menu that will allow you to select which drinks you want to serve to the customers and they will randomly order from that menu. You can also now order barrels which will show up in the barrel rack that I built. And to access all of these management screens, I actually built a new office for the player. Looks super cool. And barrel racks back here too now. I also spent some time creating a proper save system that saves all of your data into a JSON file and it loads this on game start. I also tested this in an actual build of the game so I can confirm it works there. Oh, and hopping back to that menu I was just talking about, we had this great suggestion by Tamasis. He had the idea for a happy hour event where there'd be extra patrons to serve, but drinks are half price or something like that. Actually talks about how it could be fun, especially if you're playing with friends, it would have pressure ramp up for a short period of time. I thought that was super cool. So looking at the menu, I made a little toggle for a happy hour that you can turn on. It will decrease the price of all your drinks slightly but it will increase the amount of customers that spawn by 50%. Now, a lot of this sort of dev work takes a lot of time, and I know it's not the most uh, interesting part of the process, but it's coming along very well at this point, and I have a few ideas for videos lined up in the future. I do like a lot of the suggestions I've been getting so far, and there's been some really great ones in the YouTube comments, so I'm thinking of doing a part two of this video, diving into some of those, and taking a few more from the Discord boys. Uh, if you have any more, please feel free to leave them. Definitely the ones that don't involve uh, six months of dev work are the most appreciated. But seriously, a lot of the suggestions have been super cool and I'm blown away by the amount of support and feedback I've gotten so far. Anyways, this video has taken up enough of your time, so Discord link down below. I've been TJ, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Peace.